respective fields. But before we proceed, let us also extend a very warm welcome to all the distinguished principals, teachers, special educators, institutions who are catering to children with special needs, the D-Learners team, volunteers, and our esteemed guests. We are delighted to have you here with us today to celebrate the spirit of inclusivity and the importance of education in promoting a more equitable and accessible society. It's my pleasure to welcome Mrs. Pungodai Aladi Aruna, former Information and Technology Minister of Panama, who has been a trailblazer in promoting digitalization and technology in the state. Her unwavering dedication and leadership have made a profound impact on the lives of countless citizens and we are honored to have you here with us today, ma'am. Thank you for joining us. I am also delighted to welcome Dr. Jurid Anita Gonzalez, Secretary of Stella Marie's College, who has been instrumental in transforming the lives of students through education. Her innovative approach and commitment to academic excellence have made her a well-respected figure in the education sector and we are delighted to have her presence here with us today. Thank you, ma'am. Finally, I extend a warm welcome to Mr. Michael Gomes, the CEO of Vanguard Logistics, a prominent figure in the logistics industry. His extensive experience, business acumen and leadership skills have propelled the company to great heights and we are thrilled to have him raise this occasion. Thank you, sir. We are grateful for their presence and their invaluable contribution to their respective fields and we look forward to their insights and knowledge sharing. Once again, a very warm welcome to all our esteemed guests. We hope you enjoy this event and leave with new knowledge, new connections and new ideas. Thank you. I request sister to kindly felicitate the memento to Father Jeff. Remains the same. The 
But the most important thing we need to take forward to the society, not to look at this special, he calls it specific learning disorder. I don't think we should call it a disorder, that is my, that's how I look at it. It's a special ability. All our brains are wired in a different way and so are people intelligent or even above average intelligent. So please don't categorize them and I think it's the most important thing is more than the child, more than the teachers, parents worry a lot. I think it's to have next time the same monogram what really dyslexia is. In 2006 when I was the social welfare minister, I would like to very proudly say the Tamil Nadu under the leadership of Dr. Kalekar was the first set, first state to identify children with disability at an early stage right from birth and we were the first state to develop early intervention centers for the physically challenged, for the hearing impact, people with loss of vision and people with learning difficulties. Now it has spread to all the states and once again it was between 2006 and 2011 inclusive education became a common word among the public and I would like to say proudly as a academic coordinator of our school we are very happy to take these children and the amount of dedication some of the parents showed towards these children I am sure the software developer, the young man will be talking to you soon who is a PhD student and who will carry forward his story. How many of you know that Mr. Scientist Einstein was a dyslexic and he said something very profound and truthful. He said, intelligence is not about knowledge. Intelligence is how much you imagine. Imagination is the scale of your intelligence, not the knowledge because imagination is unlimited. And again, once more, the biggest, one of the most successful entrepreneurs globally, Charles Bron uh, Richard Bronson, he was a dyslexic. Picasso was a dyslexic, the world of a famous painter. And what did Picasso say? I don't see things as I see them. I imagine them. So what happens to the children with this specific, specific learning disorder as it is coined today, I hope it gets a more, less stigmatized definition in the future. I would like to say it is not a disorder, it is a different way your brain is wired. Recently, I was, before I knew about dyslexia, I was, I, I was listening to, a, I was watching on YouTube about Einstein. I don't know how fast it's true. I believe that Einstein wrote a will that when he dies, he should be burnt and his ashes should be spread all over the world. But how far? This is just what I read. So I am not going to authenticate this and say yes, this is a true story. And But I believe the person who did the post-mortem, the scientist, took away his brain. And then after many years, they tried to map his brain and did a CT scan, MRI. And they found his brain wired differently, especially uh, me, me being a doctor. It's the parietal lobe where you think is partial, that was very different. It was 17% more than a normal individual. So, people with dyslexia, they are not, they don't have a disorder. They are wired differently. Namakana, each one of us are wired differently. That means, do we have dyslexia? No. So, I think let's embrace the children, be more humane towards them and make them understand this is a difficulty, but this is not an obstruction, this is something which they can overcome with technology which the e-learner software has developed. I would like to end my speech with something very profound and beautiful which happened to me when I was practicing as a kindly uh, oncologist in, uh, before I came into politics. One morning, a 24-year-old girl with her parents, she was the only child for her parents. 
She came from the US, she was doing a PhD in physics, if I remember right. I still remember her name, look, I don't want to mention it, brother. And she came with advanced ovarian cancer. And since she didn't have the insurance to get the treatment there, she came to us. We operated on her, gave her all the necessary treatment. After one year, she was cleared. There's a big difference between cleared and cured. Then after six months, the parents alone came to me. And I asked them, where is she? No, she was very adamant. She's the only child for her parents. She said, I am going back to US to finish my PhD. When a life-threatening illness does not cannot be an impediment to one's education, I think we can overcome dyslexia very easily with technology, kindness, compassion, and humaneness. Thank you. And none of his classmates was, they were snickering. They were making fun of him. They said, <laughs> we know this about our, we know this. And there was this huge claw just about the blackboard. It went tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And with every breath of his, this TikTok became louder and louder. And the big board, which was kind of greenish black in color, became blurrier and blurrier. And suddenly, he heard another sound. Arun, I did not expect this from you. Please take your bag and move out of the classroom. It was his principal at the door, at the entrance of the classroom. Where did the principal come from? And suddenly he heard another sound which was familiar. Arun, we did not expect this from you, Prana. What is this? Were you not paying attention in class? What was happening? Arun, inna Arun, 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 wake up, Arun, Arun, wake up. It was his mother. Arun opened his eyes. He looked up on the ceiling and it was a beautiful stars on his ceiling. It was his own ceiling. It was his own bedroom. The quilt. The quilt was his own. He was actually in this house. It was a bad dream. He looked at his Amma and his Amma said, today is the first day of the new year. Come on. It's June. It's a new class, new friends. Come on, I don't get up. Aren't you excited to go to school? How do I tell Amma I don't want to go to school? I hate June. I hate June. I hate June. He looked at his mirror. He looked at his reflection in the mirror and said, what are you even going to school for? Everybody will again make fun of me. How do I explain to Amma and Appa that I can't make sense of anything that's written on the board? How do I explain to Amma and Appa that when I open my book, all the letters are all jumbled up. They seem to be making a dance of their own. As usual, Amma Appa's friends will say, Oh, you're not giving him enough vegetables, is it? Are, why don't you send him to tuition? Oh, oh, oh. you know what? I think he's sleeping in class. Are you? He's sleeping in class. I think you should put vitamin D, vitamin C, all the multivitamins you should put together. And even then, there will be another relative who will come to them and say, you know what? My sister's brother's daughter was also like this. They went to this place of worship, that place of worship, and everything was fine. It was not about that. For him, it was different. His world was different. But they were not listening. They didn't even understand. He got ready. He wore his uniform. He was also like any other eight-year-old child. Eight-year-old child was happy to have a superhero bag, nice pencil box, a double tie of a different box, maybe a beautiful water bottle. He also wanted to go to school. But it was that classroom which made it impossible for him to enjoy. He sat in the Is there a problem with the mic? Can I Give me a second. Sorry. Very, very reluctant disinterested because he knew there was a big world of people who did not like him, who did not understand him on the other side. The imposing gates felt like the 
these huge monsters which were ready to eat him. And then he thought for a minute, maybe today I will meet somebody who understands me better, who maybe, just maybe understands what I am going through. He went inside, he went inside his classroom and luck, as luck would have it, the first class was English. And the English teacher came in and she said, open your textbooks. Everybody opened their textbooks. They, of course, greeted each other. Hey, vacation thing. Hey, no, vacation thing. Arun was not interested in talking to anybody. He just opened his textbook. And as luck would have it, the teacher said, today we will do chapter one and I will make each one of you read a paragraph. And Arun kept on saying, no, 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 no. She will not ask me to read. No, 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 no. I'm not going to read. No, 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 no. Arun, can you please read? Arun stood up. Just like how he had in the dream, he started. But he couldn't read. He couldn't make sense of these black and white on the textbook. And just then all the... No, no, no. This is again a nightmare. Amma will come now and say, Arun, wake up, Arun, wake up. It didn't happen. English teacher came, stood next to Arun and said, Arun, what is your problem? Can't you just read one sentence? Can't you just read? It's so simple. She gave him a chance, but Arun moved. And she said, do better next time. And Arun, just in that entire humility, he just sat down. Another class happened, another class happened, and then the bell rang. It was the lunchtime bell. He ran. He wanted to run away from all this humiliation and he ran to his secret spot in the school under the big banyan tree. There was a rickety bench where he stood looking left and right because that was his secret place. Nobody ever visited this place and he was about to open but hello, there was somebody else already sitting on that rickety bench. He went up to her, it was a lady and he said, hello, this is my place. He, he had never seen so much politeness and kindness. He said, it's okay. Uh, you say it's your new day. You can sit. You can face that side and eat. I'll face this side and eat. And he started eating his lunch. And she started eating her lunch. And suddenly she said, how rude of me. I'm so sorry. I need to introduce myself. My name is Elizabeth. And yours? My name is Arun. And I'm in class 3. Nice to meet you. And suddenly he looked at Elizabeth. You seem to be very uh, elder to be a student. He said, yeah. I'm not a student, but you soon know who I am. And he said, okay. Again, he was not used to such kindness. He ate and suddenly the bell rang and he said, I will be late to class. Sorry, miss, I have to run. Uh, uh, okay, Elizabeth, uh, ma'am. Okay. And he ran. And he ran.
Arun sang. His heart sang, his mind sang. He just wanted to disappear. And suddenly, one of the child said, Ma'am, Arun can't be, ma'am. And that's it. Everybody started to laugh. And she said, Hold on, hold on. No problem. Arun, just be here. I'd like to speak to you once the class is over. And they continued singing to a dear a couple of times. And then, as the bell rang, all of them went away from the classroom in the line. And as she turned around, she heard the piano, the Casio, somebody playing. Do a dear, da 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 And she went back and she said, Arun, I thought you didn't know. And then she started to converse with Arun. And she found out that though Arun could not make sense of the letters or the alphabets or the words, he could replicate anything he had heard. How amazing was that? Once Arun went off, this started bothering Elizabeth now. She went back home, of course, went off to Google, and she said, a child who finds reading difficult. She went through permutations and combinations and finally came to this word of dyslexia. And she started reading a little bit more. And she said, oh, that's all, is it? He just needs a different learning methodology. That's all. He doesn't have a disorder. His brain is wired differently. He just needs a little bit more of something that is completely customized to him. So, she went back to the principal after hours of research and she told the principal, Sir, you need to call Arun's parents to the school. And he said, no, 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 I can't do this. Uh, I mean, we don't have any, uh, you know, something that concrete that he has dyslexia. She said, no, I am convinced. Can you please call them? Because I need help from them. Because she was so much, so confident, he called. He called the parents. And the parents came very, very unhappy because it was just a month since the school opened and they were called already to the principal's home. Arun was also called and Arun was very, very upset. He said, what have I done? I've been a good child except for the fact that I can't read what's written on the board or what's written in the textbook. He walks in, he sees his parents and he sees a Casio. And then uh, Elizabeth Nam says, I would like to show you something to Arun's mother and father. And she sings and she asks Arun to play. Whatever new tune she sang, Arun was able to replicate like this. And Arun was so thrilled, he said, yes, you can do it, this is not a nightmare. And he kept playing. And that's when she told Arun, you can go to the class. And she turned to his parents and said, your child needs customized learning. Immediately the mother said, you mean to say there is a disorder in my child? She said, no, ma'am, he does not have a disorder. He just needs a different learning methodology. And Arun's mother said, I've never seen my boy so, so happy ever before. So that too for school, something that's happening in school. So yes, I'll cooperate. So for the next few months, she went to the classroom. Elizabeth Mack went to the staff room and discussed it with all the teachers. And the English teacher came forward and she said, I will apply it. I will apply it and use this different learning methodology. And six months later, when there was a chapter book given to her, it was different because it had phonetics. So when Arun was given the chapter and he started, he said, hey, this looks different. It's got phonetics. And he started, quick, silver, box, jar, over the lazy dog. And there was huge applause in the class because after all they were children, eight years old. Everyone was so happy that their friend Arun could now read so beautifully. He took some time, but he read. And he read like wow. And soon enough, 
almost nine months down the line, the annual day happened. On a stage like this, everybody performed and the grand finale was that Arun would accompany Elizabeth Mann in a small little musical ensemble. Everybody came, played, but then the spotlight was on Arun and on Elizabeth Mann. And Elizabeth Mann started to sing. So do la fa mi do re. So do la ti do re do. And I agree. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. And as he played the piano, Elizabeth Mann sang. There was this huge round of applause. Can you hear it, Varu? <laughs> right in the front row was Arun's parents. Mother was already teary-eyed. And the English class teacher. The class teacher and the English teacher. And they were so happy. But that was not all. Suddenly, Arun was called to give a small speech. He said, ma'am, yes, we now need to speak to your teachers and your friends. And he had a small little bit of paper. He opened the paper. He opened it and he said, good evening all of you. My name is Arun and I am a student of class 3. Remember, he was reading out of a paper. I would like to thank my teachers and Elizabeth Mann, who was on stage, and my principal, and all of you who have finally made me see sense in all the letters, all the alphabets, and all the words. You see, I had a problem. I could not read from the board. My problem has a name. It's called dyslexia. Dyslexia means I have problem in reading words, in explaining words, in understanding letters. They used to dance before me, but not now. A big thank you to Elizabeth Mann who found out and gave me lot of help and support and today I am here in front of you reading from this piece of paper. As soon as you finished and that's how Arun was greeted and Arun felt so thrilled his parents were on over the moon and that night when Arun went back to sleep, he just wished for one thing. He wished that the world would be filled with more and more Elizabeth Mans. Because finally, he did not eat June. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.
am an actor and storyteller. In the uh, Stella Maris College, la, the learners has organized an inclusion mela. Inclusion mela na ipa nariya koyendigal bande different learners. Uh, that is, ellaro differently able chalvanga na the learners apurtharikum. They need a different methodology to learn. So dyslexia angarade or adhikena chale or I don't want to call it a disorder. It is something where a child is not able to read. Illa letters may dance for no. Angal kine ra. So, aday eppri point thegal ko bande how they are able to uh, overcome. Idel landa ni ki and the inclusion mail abe to give more awareness to something that the learners is doing. So, idel la na kalendar vishmo eppri na. I have written a story called I Hate June. Which I'll be performing today, and I have written it exclusively for the learners. So today, in the inclusion uh, mela, I'm very happy to be a part of it because nama mulama in the kadam mulama, how I can also uh, tell people a little more about dyslexia and how we can be more kind. Illa me endila nama utter utter purinchadu paendgal. It will be something very, very beautiful and the world will become a very, very nice place. Thank you. Uh, Regional Managing Director of uh, Vanguard Logistics Services. Uh, glad to be sponsor of this uh, inclusion event uh, this afternoon. Uh, of course, as part of our Happy Society program, uh, we are very happy and to engage with Link Foundation today and be part of this wonderful uh, customer social responsibility program. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Isai Jerry, um, um, uh, 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 the employee will be dyslexic in Sonaga, the Peri Caval Marin and Iran. Actually, I pull the latest studies in a Solana, think in dyslexic veins. Solo, Yam Solo the Bina, Yellar may dyslexic people marry Sintana Sing, Abdusra, Yana, Ulothinudi, Mikapiri, Ariva, Ulothrudi, Ulaka Varla, Purti Porta, Aldu Mikala Patina, among the Narayabri dyslexic. For example, Albert Einstein, Ubi Kolberg, Steven Spielberg. Ample Lerot Nodia, Jambovan, Steve Job, Ibuli, Bohomandali, Boxer, Yungalami, dyslexic. If the Unur or Sadarn or Russia, on the Migapere, Ariva Hill and Bena Metropolitan, now Sadarnama, Yerker, Purandi, Adiha Mother, Yerayur Petra, Nan Parker. Yana, all over a person and an Yedu, the Padipa the Lamaku, China Circle Regate. Namon the C A T S, Abdi Cat, Cats, Cats in Pertum, now with C T A S in Kerry. That's a neurological problem. If you have a cat, you can see the 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 cat, you can என்ன the Ulava Murodu or Kurandino, Ariway, Teran, Teran, Sivadrake, Ore Vadi and an exam there, Teruna, Teruna, Kang, Yerzum. You will hear the body problem, particular problem rapport. You will go to the Ari with you pretty very put the medium. Is the Pachana. Is the Pachana Yark and Teril, other than the Panitan Anga, but the Pine Gorsma, Sinjitra. Petrol, Nera, Poy, Pala under the Lada Sona. Why put a thing here? the in the Avulakur, very punar very pretty, Asid Permuk, very punar very pretty, couldn't they get a good punar very pretty, couldn't they get a solid punish king and Roma rivaling air, Unga Pama, Unga Punjigamar, Nanga, Punjigranga, Unga teachers Punjigamar Granga, Punjigranga, Punjigranga, and another is the very D link in Ojurgo. Linking a link between parents, teachers, and the children. And I do pick up pretty, other pretty over Pania and I'm going to Patra. Enodia Kanavena, Namadanatla, other Puripaga, Tamaragatala. Yellow couldn't they use screen say a problem? Screening na or couldn't they give the in the uh cutal terror body, Yrikada, Ilian Kandu. 
பதினஞ்சு சதவீதங்க அப்படின்னா இந்த உலகத்துல எத்தனை குழந்தைகள் வந்து இந்த குறையோடு இருக்காங்க பாருங்க அப்படிங்கிற பட்சத்துல ஒரு குழந்தை கூட விட்டு விட்டுறக்கூடாது எல்லா குழந்தைகளையும் ஸ்கிரீன் பண்ணி அந்த ஒருவேளை அந்த குழந்தைகளுக்கு இந்த பிரச்சனை இருப்பதாக கண்டறியப்பட்டால் அவர்களுக்கு ஏற்றவாறு கற்றுத்தருவதற்கு எங்கள் மையம் இருக்கிறது முன்னால வந்து நேரா போய் இதை செஞ்சுக்கிட்டு இருந்தோம் இப்ப தொழில்நுட்பம் அதனால தொழில்நுட்பத்தின் வழியாக நேரம் ஆன்லைன்லயே எல்லாமே நடக்குது யாருக்கும் தெரியாது உங்க பிள்ளை டிஸ்லெக்ஸிக்கு ஒருவேளை நீங்க கேவலமா நினைச்சீங்கனாலும் வெளியே யாருக்கும் தெரியாது நீங்க எங்களுடைய ஆப் டி லேர்னர்ஸ் ஆப்புக்குள்ளார வந்துட்டீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு தேவையான எல்லாமே வழிநடத்தப்படும் எப்படி நீங்க ஸ்கிரீன் பண்ணணும் அடுத்து என்ன செய்யணும் எல்லாமே சொல்லி தரப்படும் இந்த ஸ்கிரீனிங் வந்து ஃப்ரீ அஞ்சு பைசா கொடுக்க தேவையில்லை உங்க குழந்தைகளுடைய நிலையை பற்றி நாங்கள் தெளிவா சொல்லிடும் அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன செய்யணும் ஏது செய்யணும் அப்படிங்கறதையும் உங்களுக்கு சொல்லிடும் அதனால இது வந்து எல்லாருமே ஒரு எல்லாருக்கும் இது தெரியணும் ஒரு விழிப்புணர்வு ஏற்படுத்துறதுக்காக நாங்க மிக சிரமப்பட்டு பல இடங்களுக்கு சென்று இதை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் அதனுடைய ஒரு முத்தாய் பார்த்தாக இந்த இந்த நிகழ்வும் கூட எனவே இதை பார்க்கிறவர்கள் கேட்கிறவர்கள் உங்கள் வீட்டுல குழந்தைகள் படிக்கும் போது கொஞ்சம் பிரச்சனை பண்ணுது அதுக்கு வந்து இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இல்லை எழுதுறதுக்கு சங்கடப்படுது அப்படின்னா புரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க இதுல ஏதோ குழந்தை மேல கோவப்படாதீங்க சந்தோஷப்படுங்க நம்ம குழந்தை வந்து டிஸ்லெக்சிக்கு பெரிய கில்லி நம்ம பாப்பா பெரிய ஆள் ஆயிடும் பெரிய சாதனை செய்யும் அப்படிங்கறத மனதில் வச்சுக்கிட்டு எங்களை அணுகுங்க உங்கள் குழந்தைகளுக்கு குறைபாடு இருக்குதா இல்லையா நாங்க தெளிவ தெள்ள தெளிவாக அறிந்து ஆவணம் செய்வோம் இன்னொன்னு இந்த குழந்தைகள் மிக அறிவாளிகளா இருக்கிறதுனால நீங்க அவங்களை துன்புறுத்தி அடிச்சு புரிஞ்சுக்காம அவங்கள கேவலப்படுத்திக்கிட்டு இருந்தீங்கன்னா ஒருவேளை அவர்கள் வந்து சமூகத்துக்கு மேல கோபம் வந்து அவங்க அறிவாளி இல்லையா அதனால அவங்க சமூகத்துக்கு எதிராக செயல்படக்கூடியவர்களாக ஆவதற்கான வாய்ப்புகள் அதிகம் இருக்குது அதுவும் எனக்கு மனசுல ஒரு பக்கம் பயம் இருக்குது இவ்வளவு பெரிய அறிவாளிகளை வந்து நம்ம கண்டுபிடிக்காம முட்டாள் அறிவு கெட்டவனை அப்படி இப்படி சொல்லி அவங்க கேவலம் நடத்தினா மோனை இது ஒன்னு வச்சுக்கிறேன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அவங்க வேற மாதிரி செயல்பட்டா நல்லா இருக்காது எனவே இந்த இந்த அருமையான ஒரு 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 குழந்தைகளுக்கான எதிர்காலத்தை நாம் நமது கயிற கரங்களில் எடுத்து ஒளிமயமான எதிர்காலத்தை நமது தேசத்தில் இருக்கிற எல்லா குழந்தைகளுக்கும் உருவாக்க தமிழகத்திலிருந்து மிகப்பெரிய ஆளுமைகள் உலக வரலாற்றை இன்னும் புரட்டி போடுகின்ற முன்னெடுத்து செல்கின்ற மிகப்பெரிய ஆளுமைகள் இவர்களுக்குள் தான் இருக்கிறார்கள் என்பதை கண்டறிந்து செயல்பட உங்கள் அனைவரையும் அன்போடு அழைக்கிறேன் நன்றி என்ற தன்னார்வ தொண்டு நிறுவனம் வந்து டிஸ்லெக்சியா அதாவது வந்து குழந்தைகள் பள்ளியில் படிக்கும் குழந்தைகள் சிறு குழந்தைகளுக்கு வந்து எழுத்துக்களை அறிந்து கொள்வதும் அப்புறம் எழுதுவதில் பிரச்சனை இருக்கின்ற குழந்தைகளை பற்றி ஒரு விழிப்புணர்வு ஏற்படுத்துவதற்காக இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி நடைபெற இருக்கிறது இதுக்கு வந்து ஆங்கிலத்துல வந்து டிஸ்லெக்சியான்வாங்க லேர்னிங் டிஸார்டர் அதாவது இந்த குழந்தைங்க என்னன்னா அவங்களுக்கு வந்து மற்ற எல்லா ஸ்கில்ஸும் இருக்கும் ஆனா சரியா எழுத மாட்டாங்க அப்புறம் வார்த்தைகளை வந்து ஈஸியா ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ண முடியாது இப்போ பின்னு எழுத சொன்னால் அந்த மீ பியை வந்து மாற்றி எழுதுவாங்க அந்த இது சி எழுத சொன்னால் சியை வந்து இப்படி எழுதாமல் அவங்க கண்ணுக்கு இப்படி தெரியும் ஸோ என்ன ஆகுறதுனால அதனால அவங்களுக்கு வந்து கொஞ்சம் அந்த வாசிக்கிறதும் எழுதுவதும் ரொம்ப தடைபடுவதுனால அவங்களோட பேரண்ட்ஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப ஐயோ நம்ம பிள்ளை சரியாக படிக்கலையோன்ற ஒரு பெரிய கவலை இருக்குது பட் ஆனால் நிறையா இந்தியாவில் வந்து ஐந்துலேருந்து பதினேழு சதவீதம் பேர் இருக்காங்க இந்த மாதிரி இந்த லேர்னிங் டிஸ் டிஸார்டரில் இதற்கு வந்து எளிமையான வழி வந்து ஆரம்ப நிலையத்திலே கண்டறிந்து அதுக்கேற்றவாறு அதிக பயிற்சி கொடுத்தா அந்த பிள்ளைங்க மற்றவங்க மாதிரி படிக்க தொடங்கிடுவாங்க உலகத்துல பாத்தீங்கன்னா மிகப்பெரிய அறிவாளிகள் எழுத்தாளர்கள் நாட் ஷார்ட் நாட் எழுத்தாளர்கள் பெயிண்டர்ஸ் எல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா பிகாசோ வாஸ் டிஸ்லெக்சிக் அதே மாதிரி ராபர்ட் ஐன்ஸ்டீன் அவர் உலகத்திலே பெரிய விஞ்ஞானி அவரே டிஸ்லெக்சிக்கா தான் இருந்தாரு அப்ப அவர் என்ன சொல்றாருன்னா டிஸ்லெக்சியால இருக்கவங்களுக்கு வந்து அவங்களுக்கு வந்து கற்பனை சக்தி அதிகமா இருக்குது ஏன்னா அவங்களால படிக்க முடியாதனால அவங்க வந்து ஒரு தனியான ஒரு கற்பனை உலகத்தில் இருக்கிறதுனால மற்றவர்களோட அவங்க சிறப்பாக வேறு விதத்தில் செயல்படுகிறார்கள் அதனால வந்து வருகின்ற காலங்களில் வந்து இதை ஒரு ஒரு நோயா பார்க்காம ஒரு தடைக்கல்லா ஒரு மாணவ சமுதாயத்துக்கு பார்க்காம இன்னைக்கு வந்து அவங்க டி லேர்னர்ஸ் வந்து அதுக்குன்னு ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேர் வச்சிருக்காங்க அந்த பிள்ளைங்களை எப்படி சரிபடுத்தி அவங்கள படிக்க வைக்கிறது எழுத வைக்கிறதுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேர் அவங்க உருவாக்கி இருக்காங்க இன்னைக்கு டெக்னாலஜி இருக்கிறதுனால இந்த டி லேர்னர்ஸை வச்சு நம்ம வந்து ஈஸியா அந்த பிள்ளைங்களை வந்து சமநிலை கொண்டு வந்து இன்னொரு முக்கியமான விஷயம் வந்து டிஸ்லெக்சியா இருக்கிற பிள்ளைங்களுக்கு வந்து அவங்களுடைய புத்தி கூர்மை வந்து மற்றவங்களை போட தான் இருக்கும் அவங்க வந்து தேர் நாட் லெஸ்
it's June. It's a new class, new friends. Come on, I don't get up. Aren't you excited to go to school? How do I tell them? I don't want to go to school. I hate June. I hate June. I hate June. He looked at his mirror. He looked at his reflection in the mirror and said, What are you even going to school for? Everybody will again make fun of me. How do I explain to Amma and Appa that I can't make sense of anything that's written on the board? How do I explain to Amma and Appa that when I open my book, all the letters are all jumbled up. They seem to be making a dance of their own. As usual, Amma and Appa's friends will say, Oh, you're not giving him enough vegetables, is it? Are why don't you send him to tuition? Oh, you know what? I think he's sleeping in class. I think you know he's sleeping in class. I think you should put vitamin B, vitamin C, all the multivitamins you should put together. And even then, there will be another relative who will come to them and say, you know what? My sister's brother's daughter was also in this. They went to this place of worship, that place of worship, and everything was fine. It was not about that. 